You're watching Shoot Your Shot TV, and today we got Air Max Penny Ones. Here they are, the Nike Air Max Penny One in the Orlando colorway. No hesitation, let's dive right into it. You have this black nylon pull tab with a royal blue line going down the middle, and you have this new buck piece on the tongue with a royal blue swoosh with a white trim. And this tongue might be one of my favorite Nike tongues of all time. It's so soft, very plush. It's the same material that they use on the tongue of the Air Flight One, a shoe that Penny wore before he had his own signature shoe. And it has that pinstripe pattern to it, pairs perfectly with an Orlando Magic jersey, the black one with the pinstripes. And you have these nylon eyelets on the side of the shoe for these black laces. And taking us down to the toe box of the shoe, you have that new buck toe box with a jewel oval in silver with the black swoosh right there. And you have more of that new buck overlay for the rest of the shoe. And taking us to the side panel of the shoe, you have that classic Nike jewel swoosh with royal blue behind it and black squiggly lines going throughout. In this piece right here surrounding the swoosh, I used to think it was just like a rubberized plastic, but it's actually Nike Phylon, and it's like an extension of the midsole. They have it here on the outer panel of the shoe in white, and then on the inner panels of the shoe, they have it in black connecting to the back of the midsole as well. And they also have this checkered piping in black and white that goes around the side panels as well. Taking us to the back of the shoe, you have this terry cloth sock liner in royal blue. You have another pool tab in black with a royal blue line going through it. And taking us to the back of the heel cup, you have more of that synthetic new buck. And you have that one cent logo in royal blue with the silver outline sitting on top of the midsole that houses the air bubble. And taking us to the bottom of the outsole, it's white and black. And you have another big royal swoosh at the bottom and a clear air window right here. So you can see that air bubble as well with silver accents and more of those black squiggly lines. And the Penny One is just amazing. It's magical. For those of you who don't know, the shoe originally released back in 1995. They were designed by Eric Avar, the same guy who designed the Nike foam posits. The last time that we got a retro of the Orlando colorway, I want to say it was 2011, so that's 10 plus years. And they came back in 2022, 2023, as they're now just starting to pop up at some retailers. And the only subtle differences that I can tell between this retro and the OGs is that the tongue is a little bit shorter and the air bubble is a little smaller. I feel like if Nike was able to bring back the big bubble for the Air Max 186 OG, then I feel like they can give us an Air Max Penny 1 with that big bubble as well. And then also put it in a lot of the Nike basketball retros like the Penny 2s and the Air Max Uptempos. We'd love to see reimagined pairs of some of our favorite basketball shoes. And throughout the years, they've done a bunch of colorways. Some of them made sense, some of them didn't, but nothing hits like the original colorways that you saw in the magazine or that you saw Pennywear back in 1995. So it's just good to see these pop up again. It's classic, truly a classic. These were supposed to have a global release in 2022, but a lot of stores didn't get them out here. Luckily, our good friend Fitted Algebra was at the mall, got a pair, picked them up for C, because C's been wanting these for a minute. If this is something you're interested in and you missed out on them, just keep an eye out. They might be slowly popping up at retailers in your area. Or if you wanted to pay resale, I think I've seen them on secondary sites for 220 at most, 230 depending on size. In retail, 180 for a retro. It just kind of is what it is, not mad at it. As far as sizing goes, I went true to size in the Penny one. I suggest you do the same, but if you do want a little bit of extra room there in the toe, you can go a half size up. As far as comfort goes, you can definitely feel the air bubble in the back of the heel, and you can feel that zoom air in the forefoot of the shoe. But it is a basketball shoe from the 90s. Basketball shoes today are gonna be a lot more comfortable, but it is a classic silhouette, which brings me to my next point. The style on these is incredible. It's beautiful, iconic, screams 1990s, screams 1995. And I'm just glad that Nike brought these back. Like I said, if you're interested in these, I definitely suggest trying to pick them up now because who knows when's the next time that they're gonna retro. How do you guys feel about the Air Max Penny One in the Orlando colorway? Is this something that you're still waiting for your local retailers to get in stock or are you willing to pay resale? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you guys. And let's go ahead and try on the Nike Air Max Penny One. This shit slap, put Globy on the laptop. The one seater, it get lonely in the matchbox. It ain't real if your stony is from hat stock. Try and tell me different what you smoking on the crack rock. SM, Mega Mall, boys, stay your head to y'all. Toys said they never fall, swing on them like tether ball. Boris gang, holes on the two balls like Hornets games. For the fame, Mate make them say it like Tory Lanes. The world on my back gave me shoulder pains. 
The storyboard is golden from the molten flame. I'm ready for it. Indigenous from the igneous to metamorphic. Ride around blind like headless horsemen. A man of many hats. Once I stepped in storage face facts, I'ma need my plate back like Stegosaurus rocking your arena. You see me from the crowd and then I spot you like a cheetah. I'm speaking through the sound, your homeboy's blocking the vagina. And now I'm dragging balls like a brawly If you enjoyed this review on the Nike Air Max Penny One, make sure you check out these other reviews on classic Nike basketball shoes as well. My heart used to be, but it's probably just a free.